Today, we'd like to introduce to you a generic white water ionizer. Now, we actually received this ionizer as a trade-in from one of our customers. They contacted us with some uh, information and concerned, concerns with the machine. Uh, we decided to, you know, test it out and see uh, where it goes. Uh, you will notice on the front of the machine, uh, we did the best job we could cleaning it. This is just how it looked when we got it. So that was the highest uh, alkaline setting. So we're gonna go jump down, back down to alkaline setting one, um, which it claims to be about a 7.2 pH with a negative ORP. Um, as you can notice, when we do change the alkaline settings, the pH suggestion changes a little bit as well as the ORP claims. Uh, we use standard uh, household water on this machine. Uh, we used uh, room temperature and a standard flow rate of between about two to three liters a minute. So industry standards. Uh, this is the first acidic setting. So acid setting one, uh, the machine says it can go down to about uh, 6.8 pH with a plus uh, 354 ORP. And here's the second acidic setting here. Again, uh, the machine is only telling us it's gonna go to about 6.8 pH and to somehow a positive 454 ORP. But we also use some pH testing drops here. Uh, each little vial here gets two drops. And this is a, you know, another industry standard test. Uh, we use the chemical tests uh, because they're a lot quicker and especially for videos, they're a lot more visually pleasing. So as you can tell here, we're putting uh, two drops into each vial here. Each vial again represents the different uh, alkaline and pH um, and acidic settings from the machine. Uh, so we have a little tiny um, piece of hosing here just to stir it up rather than shaking it. Uh, we find for the video it looks a little better when you stir it. Um, so these two acidic ones are coming out fairly green, uh, right where the machine said about a 6.8 pH. Uh, if you're looking for really strong acid, uh, I'm not seeing any right here. Um, so keep that in mind. So when we do go to more towards the alkaline side, uh, we are seeing some color changing up uh, into the higher pH range. You know, it looks about a nine to maybe a nine five uh, there at the maximum. Um, the part that we're really interested here in is what we're getting into now is the ORP. So the minimum and the maximum ORP. Uh, right now we're on the highest setting. Uh, we let the machine run for a little bit, uh, make sure we're getting fresh water. And we're also filling up a, a bigger glass for ORP for testing. Um, what happens a lot of times is the little tiny bubbles in the water will actually form over the ORP tester and it won't give an inaccurate reading. So when you test ORP, you wanna make sure you got a lot of volume of water and uh, you're gonna to need to shake uh, the end of the meter a little bit just to, so there's no bubbles forming here. So we're gonna grab out our pinpoint ORP tester. Uh, again, it's really good for a home test or a business tester. Uh, in our factory, we use you know $1,000 calibrated machines that get tested. Uh, every single day with our production lines, but this is a great tester for um, videos and uh, comparison. Uh, one of the main things you want to do is make sure that tip is clean. We leave ours in the cleaning solution like the instructions say. Uh, now we're putting into the um, acidic ORP here and we're stirring it really well to make sure that there's no little bubbles right on the end of that uh, meter. Uh, so. What we're showing is it was showing a claim of uh, plus 460 ORP. In reality, we're seeing only about, um, looks like a, a 70 or so there. So pretty significant difference. Um, here we're jumping into the high um, antioxidant rich water. Um, the claims on the ORP here were pretty strong. And let's see what the meter actually shows. So what happens is you, Put the meter in, it'll spike up for a second, and then it'll start reading. And as you can see by the, the calibration here, it is dropping pretty significantly. Uh, it's just staying there and it is um, continuously going down. But uh, in reality, uh, it's claiming about negative 460 and we're only getting about a negative 100 
and six when it finally uh, stabilizes. This is a great uh, informational test about this generic uh, white water ionizer. Um, as you can tell, uh, the machine itself uh, did not go above a you know 9.5 to a 10 pH. Um, the strongest acid we saw was about a you know maybe a 6.5. You know that was still pretty green. So from our testing, is we're not seeing really strong acid. We're not seeing uh, strong um, alkaline. And the ORP numbers uh, do not seem to be reading accurately. Uh, this might be one of the reasons why there are so many of these on the market and their prices really range. Uh, so we're going to actually show you here where we could uh, purchase the machine from uh, Alibaba or AliExpress. Uh, some of the direct uh, websites that you can import items directly from uh, the various factories. So let me jump into that here for you. So here we are at uh, AliExpress which is an offshoot of Alibaba. It's a great place to uh, find stuff directly out of a, a lot of countries. So we went to AliExpress, typed in water ionizer, and here's the results. Uh, there's several machines here. Uh, this one, of course, caught our eye. It looks pretty similar to the white generic water ionizer we were just testing. Uh, and as you can tell from the price, uh, about $257 to $287, uh, depending on if it's shipped from the US or China. Just a little bit of the details about the machine there. Uh, as you can tell, the frame looks pretty similar. Uh, the color's different. Uh, the little touch screen, little touch buttons are, are different than the white one, but uh, here's another one. That one looks pretty similar, uh, in my opinion. Uh, it also has a brand name on it now, uh, instead of the one we had, which was the generic version. Um, just wanted to show that there's multiple places you can get this unit. Um, those looks like what it comes with. Uh, there's the you know, the generic information about the product and the price about $380. Oh, now we have one uh, with no uh, brand name on it for $450 now. Uh, here's just showing the multiple colors of the machine. Uh, some gold, some blue, but again, they all look pretty similar. Um, so here's actual Alibaba.com. And this is, uh, it's a little like one more step than AliExpress, but again, it's a great place to, you know, find information. And uh, here we got another one. Uh, they're actually calling this one uh, uh, <laughs> a name that uh, I would not call it. Um, we also have multiple colors here again, and you can tell the price gets all the way down to about $247, depending on how many you buy. You know, maybe you buy a hundred of these and uh, then you put them up on Amazon yourself and you're making, you know, 200 bucks an item. Uh, that could be happening. Uh, so just uh, we're here to show some information and show um, the world's getting smaller and you can source these products uh, pretty quickly. Here's now a, a silver version for about $330 all the way down to $285 again uh, showing that uh, you know if you want to go buy a hundred of these put them in your garage maybe and go make your own uh, Amazon store uh, or eBay store or something like that. The, there are people doing this uh, again, here's another silver version with no brand name. You know, 440 down to 300 bucks. Here's another version. Um, let's see, what does that look like? All the way down to $230 uh, if you buy enough of them. Again, and this looks pretty white and generic uh, water ionizer like the one we're testing before. Um, we're just here to spread some information. Um, there seems to be a lot of different versions of this one out there. Uh, here's the gold again. Here's some silver. Here's the blue. Uh, here's the other products that they have. Uh, you know, this is the uh, Alibaba uh, seller platform here. Just showing some more prices. And, uh, oh, here's another gold one. Uh, and there's the white one again. Uh, you know, down to $243 uh, if you want to buy enough of them. So, just more information. Here's the blue one. Um, oh, here's the gold one again. Um, you know, $257 to $287. Looks like it may come with some free extra, you know, generic non-branded filters there and here's the listing on uh, Amazon uh, so $479 uh, for that product that looks pretty similar to the white product that we just tested in-house which looks pretty similar to a lot of other products out there so um, use this information to do what you'd like but we just wanted to share that there's a, a lot of different machines out there and uh, you never know uh, what you're gonna get so do your own research thank you